My name is Dilutsu Mukumbe. I'm the Managing Director of Pamuka and I'm in charge of operations and business development of the company. My name is Nati Pasia. I'm the CEO of Pamuka in charge of the vision and the strategy of Pamuka and we've been in operation since 2016. Pamuka is an industrial cleaning and chemical production company. Pamuka focuses mostly on servicing in the, in the mining field, uh, automotive industry, as well as the water, uh, water sanitation industry. Pamuga is a company that focuses on different chemicals that we manufacture. We've got automotive, industrial. So what we do is we manufacture different chemicals for different clients and we do tailor-made chemicals for them, which um, it then differentiates us from what's existing in the market currently. Pamuka started whilst we were still in Varsity University. The, um, it started off as a mobile laundry service. Uh, we were just students looking to make it an extra buck. Um, and as the business went on and as we uh, get, got more experience in the business, we, 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 we changed direction and we you know, formulated the business where it is now in the industrial and chemical space. Uh, closer to the time of graduation, we decided that, you know what, this is our first baby. We wanted to give it attention for it to grow. Then we developed a vision and where we wanted to see the company going into. Then, um, yeah, we moved according to the vision and this is where we are right now. Behind the business name is actually a complement of both our surnames, Pasia Mukumbe. And um, interesting fact is when we decided to come up with this name, we were driving the company car one day and someone stopped us and asked us what Pamuka meant. And we explained to them it was our, business, it was our surnames. And then they informed us that back where he's from, back in Zimbabwe, Pamuka actually means the start of something great. There was a point in time where we were obviously um, moving our business to the space we're in now. And we saw there was a big gap in the market, especially with our, with our different clients in the, in the mining and industrial space. Um, because they have certain health and safety standards they have to uphold. So we saw there was a gap for us to penetrate that market because we could help them meet those standards and um, have them obviously keep in operations. Most clients that we service, since they're in the industrial field and it's more business to business, they always have a specific problem that they want to solve. Hence why we decided to redesign and focus on our value proposition, which is tailor making our chemicals and not selling something that's off the shelves because it speaks to the exact problem that the client has. Current staff in Pamuka is us, our partners, um, two managers, one, one's in marketing and one's ahead of technology and innovation, and uh, six, uh, six employees with us, from engineers to uh, attendants in the cleaning side, as well as we have a complement of uh, temporary workers for certain projects. It took us about two years, two years, two to, years start to start employing um, uh, what well, we, we know we could we see we could afford and we could um, employ people. So it took us about two years to get to that stage. Our, our biggest challenge in running the business is as an SME, you got to compete with the bigger players that have been in the industry for a long time and they have a good footprint in the, in, in the industry. People, they're well known, their financial capacity. So with us as small business, and it's good that we, we work together because we're able to think of different ways um, to go head on with these uh, big clients. So we can't obviously approach the same way they approach because they are well known. We have to think of different ways to penetrate different clients from where we are because we are also a company that's not well, well known and we're still trying to uh, put skin in the game as well. And to add on what he's saying, the biggest challenge is what he just mentioned lastly is building a reputation and working with the bigger clientele, with the bigger names, because when you're selling yourself as an SME, when people see your history of who you've worked with, um, it becomes highly essential for them to see names that they recognize so that they know that you've got the ability to do the work and to do the job. The COVID pandemic has affected our business in the way that um, with the different clients we had, some of them unfortunately had to close down, so we lost clientele. And the, the current clients we have at the moment as well, um, they also suffered the COVID pandemic, which uh, decreased their cash flow. So when that means it also adversely affects us because the payment terms change. And to run a business on a daily basis, you need uh, cash flow. So it's kind of put us a little bit of back foot, but we are uh, managing to get through. It affected us in a sense where the cleaning side, because especially in level five, most companies were shut down and couldn't operate. Um, but fortunately for us, since we're operating in an essential space, when some of the clients reopened, we were able to push more the chemical production side to supply those versus the, the, the service side, which in a way it balanced each other out. But again, initially it was a bit of a loss, but when things started opening up again, we started picking up. What gets us through the toughest days, I think it's we always find strength and courage when we spend time together physically. 
um, in a way we counsel each other because uh, at times when I'm down he's up so it's sort of like an exchange between the two of us or even our other partners or what we do is um, either pray or speaking to people or mentors who have gone ahead where they validate your feelings and say listen what you're going through is um, it's normal it's part of the journey you just have to stick it out um, brighter days are ahead of you they always say business is a lonely road um, but we're lucky enough to have you know friends family as part uh, partners um, that we can communicate on things if I'm feeling down at least there's someone to help me motivate me and encourage me as well as if he's even down I can do the same uh, with my partner so having a support more of like a support system in the company where you need to find that motivation, we're lucky enough to have that in the company. What I like about our business is, one, we meet different uh, clients, uh, different people from different uh, backgrounds, and you get to see what got them into business. Uh, you, get to, you get to see, um, we, we've always been the type of people that um, problem solving. So when you're in different, when you're in a space, you get to see, okay, I could, uh, I could add value in this space. I could add value in that space. I, I see what your problem is. So you get, to, you get to experience certain things and you get to, you find yourself in a field that you would not have expected and a client that you would not have expected to add value to. Um, and that's basically going to different clients and the different clients have exposed us to a different side of business. What I love most about the business is that it promotes growth um, uh, in us because as I said, it puts us in positions where we have to adapt quickly. We have to always find solutions, innovative solutions for clients. Um, it also doesn't limit our creativity in as much as it seems simple when you try to describe it to another person. It's chemical production and cleaning. It's not only that for us, it's much bigger than that. And the fact that uh, it gives us that uh, edge of always trying to solve problems for different people, it keeps us going. So what made us join the Black Umbrellas program was we were in a journey of learning and we still are in a journey of learning and we wanted to uh, put some structure into the company. We were looking for corporate structure, um, learn more about how to deal with certain things, shareholders agreements, etc. the side of the law, um, accounting structure, etc. So when we joined um, Black Umbrellas, that's exactly what we were looking for beyond obviously the, the smaller things that uh, most companies look for, which is access to financial markets, etc. Um, so for us the main thing was we saw where the vision of the company was going and we realized that in order for us to achieve this we need structure and that internal structure is what we wanted from Black Umbrellas. Obviously before joining Black Umbrellas we did our research and we found out what, what Black Umbrellas can assist a business with. As an SME it's very difficult to get your business out there so in terms of access to clients um, we, we wanted to be, get more uh, exposed our business more to that field when, and, we, and help assistance and help us get to that uh, point where we are able to uh, put our business out there. So, and that's one also another thing that attracted us to Black Umbrellas. But the business has changed since um, joining Black Umbrellas in a sense that we had an intention before joining Black Umbrellas and the intention, as I said, was to uh, be exposed to uh, clients, um, access to market, be exposed to internal structures that will build the business going forward and I believe that that's exactly what we've accomplished since joining. Um, we've built a lot of structures that we've learned during the, the, the foundation phase from Black Umbrellas. It was an intense program when we started, especially fitting it in the schedule of running a 24-7 business, um, but it was something that's been a great opportunity for us to balance that and to also learn at the same time based on the people that they employed to take care of us. Where we see our business going next is we are in the process of um, establishing our, uh, ourselves in the Eastern Cape. Uh, we will establish a factory doing uh, chemical production and still having uh, call-outs for uh, cleaning contracts or ad hoc clients for cleaning. Um, our business right now, we are working with our engineers and our chief technology officer to building three flagship products that we want to be known for. That's going to, yes, of course, we'll still be focusing and producing the, the ones we're currently producing, but we've got an intention of having these three products that are upcoming. Yeah, that's what's next. The advice that I would give to an aspiring entrepreneur is um, start the I've seen that most people who have an intention of going into business, they always it's either they do little to none research before starting or they overdo research and they spend too much time. So I think the key thing is finding the right balance, know what your intention is and then just starting because I've seen 
over preparation is not, you can't prepare for this journey. The journey will prepare you um, for it. So I think the key thing is starting and learn from it, be patient with yourself and yeah. And the advice I'd give us by entrepreneurs is don't, don't rush the process. There's certain things you feel as if you're failing and you feel it's tough and you want to give up. There's a reason why you're going through those things. Um, they're not going to disappear, they, 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 they become worse. So you need to go through that to experience it and know how to overcome it because um, as much as you can say you're going to grow in, a, in the future, those same problems will come back in different forms. So uh, for you to go through that is essential uh, because it gives you that extra backbone to handle different pressures in business. Okay, how the viewers could get in touch with Pamuga is we've got a website which is www.pamuga.co.za. Um, we've got an e-commerce space so our clients are able to order our products and our service through our website. We've got a LinkedIn page which is also Pamuga, Facebook page Pamuga, Instagram it's Pamuga underscore hygiene group. So those are the different platforms that we're using.